So I got a call from my psychiatrist because I was calling in a prescription refill um, at the time for my lithium um, and for my Adderall and for my Xanax. Um, Xanax, which I take for panic attacks. And she was saying that like the office no longer prescribes Xanax. Like they just, they just don't do it anymore. Um, so I was prescribed clonazepam Clonazepam, yep, yeah, that's what it is. And I'm taking this now. Time for updates. Uh, so I wanted to do a quick medication update for y'all because my medications are changing. Um, currently it's still, unfortunately, lithium. Um, and Adderall, but um, I don't talk a lot about Xanax just because I don't really take Xanax a lot. Um, I'm kind of afraid because like it's an addicting drug um, and there's like a high dependency on it, which means that like if you rely on it a lot, so I take it for panic attacks. Um, and when I was having like panic attacks like daily and like five times a day, if I took like Xanax each time that happened because it stopped it in its tracks and it would feel really good, number one, I couldn't do that. I would be asleep. Um, but like if I like sort of treated it that way, I become really dependent on it to the point where like I wouldn't be working on my anxiety myself, I felt like, and I would just be relying on like the Xanax to fix me. Now, I still have Xanax because I still use it um, for like when I'm either like feeling like I'm hypomanic and I can't sleep at night because I know like that will put me like right to sleep. Um, I also take it for panic attacks um, because I still do have those, not as often, um, thank God. Um, I have anxiety attacks a lot more often, um, which still suck, but it's like not a panic attack. Um, and that's all I care about. I take it primarily for that. Now, I used to be on two milligrams, which is like sort of like the full size, like bars, as you will. Um, and I used to be on that and I would take that for panic attacks because they were like super severe. And I knew that like that would just like put them out. Um, the problem with that is that it would also like put me out. <laughs> so like I would be like super tired or like if I was out and about and I took one, uh, which probably wasn't the best idea, but that's what I was prescribed for. And I didn't realize that I could kind of treat it as needed, which is what I've been doing now. Um, if I did that when I was out and about, I would just be like sluggish and like hating like life because I'd be wanting to go to sleep. Um, so now uh, when I came to Atlanta, my doctor was like, so you don't take this all the time. You just take it during panic attacks. You take it basically as needed. She was like, yeah, so like, we're just gonna bounce you down to one milligram and see how that like helps you. Um, and then like, you can just take two of those if you really need to. Um, so I haven't really needed to take two of those, which is awesome. Um, like I've been good with one. And like, honestly, like even breaking those one milligrams in half um, helps with like my general anxiety. Like I don't do that often again because of how I feel about Xanax, but I definitely think it is like one of the only anxiety medications that has like really eased it. All the other medications I've had to like build up in my system and they weren't like benzos. So like they didn't like, you know, they didn't feel that way, um, but they didn't help. Like they like helped a little bit. Like I tried Buspar and that helped a little bit, but like not really. So now my doctor prescribed me clonazepam. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and it's 0.25 milligram tablets. So um, I'm pretty sure she said this is like the smallest dose. Um, you can possibly get and I've been trying it as needed uh, I take just one under the mouth it's really weird they come in like these like little came in this giant bag and they come in like, these little things and you just pop it and you put it under your tongue and it has to dissolve it doesn't taste bad but like it doesn't dissolve quickly at least in my experience and like it took forever um, but honestly I think it like kind of helped um, it didn't feel like the Xanax in the sense for like Xanax um, even the one milligram tablets, like I would feel that. Like I would definitely feel like more relaxed. Um, I wouldn't be like faded. If I took the two milligrams, I would be like faded, like kind of sleepy, like definitely out of it. Like you could ask me something and I would not remember it the day after. And that's why also I didn't like Xanax. Like Xanax would like, if I took too many, and like, I would never take like, just like taking my medicine like that. I'm not like, you know, not these days at least I wouldn't. Then like, if I like if I would take one, like it would still do that. I would still like be like weirdly in a weird space. Um, these don't do that, um, which is awesome. I took one um, like a day ago or whatever and I was going out and I noticed that it did ease my anxiety. Um, I think that like, like I would like to say it didn't work because I didn't feel like a euphoria like a euphoric feeling um but like i knew it was working when i was like oh um i don't have like anxiety right now and i had a lot of anxiety earlier or like it felt like a natural subs like it subsided it was a weird thing and then i took a get one again today 
um, while I was taking my Adderall, um, and since the Adderall normally like builds me up and builds up the anxiety, but I need it because I have ADHD. Um, but like this also sort of helped sort of like, oh, things feel funny. They don't feel like I'm on Xanax, but they don't feel like I'm not on anything. It's just like anxiety kind of just like, not went away, but just got a lot smaller, if that makes sense. I don't know if it's this or if like just naturally the anxiety went away, um, which is why I feel so weird about it. Because like essentially what I'm saying is that like, this anxiety medication works for me, which is good, but like, I'm like highly skeptical. So clonazepam is a benzo, that's benzodiazepine, something like that, benzodiazepine, I don't know if like benzos, okay, y'all like basically understand what that is, right? So clonazepam is primarily used as an anti-anxiety drug, typically for severe anxiety. Um, it also falls under the same class as Xanax, so which is interesting. So it comes from like the same family of drugs as Xanax, but like, either it's just not as strong um or like the dosage is i mean this does say 0.25 milligrams i know it's not the same chemical structure as xanax exactly um but i was like on one milligram so that's like a significant difference like i'm not a doctor that probably like to me it just sounds like i'm taking less medicine in general um, which is why it doesn't feel as powerful um but obviously i imagine if i took a whole bunch it would do the same sort of like side effects, maybe, I don't know. So the way my understanding of clonazepam works is that it acts on the GABA receptors in the mind, which are their neurotransmitter like brain chemical thingies. So like GABA, I'm pretty sure like you've heard of that a lot. Um, and like the GABA in like your brain as in like the brain chemical GABA is a neurotransmitter. Um, and it's believed that like if you have too little GABA, then like you have like increased activity and you're extra stimulated and that leads to like panic attacks and seizures and like, all of the bad things happening. So basically clonazepam like helps a, like make GABA more efficient and increases the levels of GABA in your brain so that you don't necessarily feel in that panic state. Um, and like, again, neurotransmitters are like how like the nerves and like everything like, and like the signals all talk to each other. I'm not like a science person. So like, I'm trying to explain this in the best way that like I understand it. Um, so like, because they talk to each other and like the nerve endings need to do all that good stuff. Um, using GABA, then like we need more of it, which is what clonazepam like actually like works to like figure out. So clonazepam gives you more GABA in your brain, which is a neurotransmitter, more of that, it helps you feel less panicked, right? That makes sense. So from what my research online also shows is that like, again, I said I'm on 0.25 milligrams um, as being like the smallest. Apparently it goes up to like 0.5, one, and then two milligrams. So like I could go up more. I think that like I'm pretty good here unless my anxiety increases. And I think that's a big part about anxiety medication um, is that like anxiety for me at least is a very like it's comes like I have the disorder as well and it's a lot of chemicals but it's also a lot of like environmental factors as well um and just having to like sort of work through them and i do think most of the work i do on my anxiety is in therapy and in behavioral changes so my medicine for anxiety sort of has to mimic that so like there are times in my life where like i know my anxiety is going to go up just because of like if it's the holidays or if like i'm like don't have money or like if you know, it's the summer, we're drinking more, I don't know. There's different like reasons why my anxiety might go up more. So I sort of take it as needed and that's like a, been a big help. So I don't take like, again, like I wasn't taking the Xanax every day. It wasn't like being so dependent on it. I was taking it and you can't do that with all anxiety medications. Sorry, you can't do that with all medications. Like you have to like sometimes build it up in your system. You have to take it every day and like you can't just go up and down. But that's why I really like these. Um, I don't think it's necessarily like a good idea to make it like a long-term solution. Like I'm popping Xanax every day. I don't think that's good. Um, I don't think like no matter who you are, I just think that builds up like a dependency, um, which is why I don't use it every day. And But I prefer this sort of method for me because the long-term ones and all that, like, I don't know the classifications, but those weren't working. All right, uh, let me know what y'all use for like any medications for your anxiety or just like tricks in general or like, have you tried clonazepam? Do you like it? Uh, yeah, so like, share, comments. I love to hear from y'all as always. And I hope y'all aren't in the Southeast where it's like been raining all week and it's currently still raining. Sucks. All right, subscribe and remember to turn on those notifications for when I upload new videos. Peace.